Hey guys, what's up? Let's talk about TwitCuff Fly. So go into your settings after you download this and you can click Quick Reply 2. Make sure Twitter.app is selected. You're going to need the Twitter app to do this. And um, under Quick Compose, if you want to quick compose a message from your notification center, make sure that is on. And then Twitter Connect, this is where you're going to log into your Twitter and it will allow you to use the tweeting shortcut. So make sure that's done. And the quick tweet method, which is right here under activator, you need to have the activator settings. You're either going to be able to double press your home button, short hold, single press, triple press, and etc. to open up your Twitter um, little shortcut, which I'll show you in a minute. Under alert, enable autocorrect, make sure that's on if you'd like, and same with show music button. And delivered sound, this is a sound that will, that you're actually hear once you make a tweet. So let's go to down below to hide. This is how you're going to hide this little application shortcut. You're going to be able to double tap on your screen and the shortcut will disappear. So let's go ahead and double tap and I'm going to compose a tweet. As you've seen, I just double tapped it and it brings up my tweet. This is going to be useful, especially if you tweet a lot. So hi world. That's what I'm going to type. I'm going to click tweet and it sends the tweet that fast. And I'm doing a voiceover so you do not hear the little tweet sound that's supposed to appear or actually hear. So as you've seen just there, I could double tap on my screen to release the Tweeter app. So here we go. This is a light version so you will not be able to use some functions such as posting a photo and even, even posting music or links. You'll have to do that all manually if you'd like or straight from the Twitter app. So yes, this is TwitCuff Fly Lite. It's off the Big Boss repo. It's for free and it's for the iOS 4 and 5. There is a version that actually costs money and you're going to be able to post photos and music. So down below you'll find a link to that. And here's my notification center. If you didn't see this, you're going to be able to tweet from down at the bottom. So what do you guys think about this little tweak right here that lets you tweet from anywhere? Remember there is a paid version for $1.99 if you are interested. You can get that also on the Big Boss repo. So leave a comment below on your thoughts. And please remember to click the like button and subscribe and that will help me a lot. And I'll see you in the next video.